Bon appétit. Mm. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today we are making Kaika burgers. Like I said, we were gonna make last week. Um, the ingredients are pretty simple. We just have ground beef, pre-seasoned with some adobo. We're gonna use some bacon, some eggs, some breadcrumbs, and some diced onions. mold up our burger and we have lettuce and tomato and onion obviously to build our burger so um, to start off we're gonna saute our onions um, so they're nice and caramelized so now our onions are nice and caramelized they don't have to be fully cooked because we're gonna put them in there and we're now going to cook our bacon um, my dad used to love to cook his bacon and add the bacon to the burger and add the grease from the bacon to the burger so that's a little we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna go and make our bacon. Again, so you don't have to fully cook your bacon until it's like nice and crispy. Every person likes their bacon cooked differently. Um, I like my bacon basically burned. Diego likes it almost raw. So you just wanna cook it enough so that you can put it, the little bacon pieces inside of your burger and they will continue to cook in the burger as we put it on the grill. sauteed onions, you know, just mix them all over. when you are preparing your burgers um, or when you're using meat at all. Um, I personally like to use my gloves depending on the different kinds of meat that I cook with just because the way that it, I just feel like it's more, more germs. Basically more germs. At least germs are better. Alright. So now that we added our breadcrumbs grease is still a little too hot so we're just gonna put our eggs so we can bond it up here and throw our last little bit of breadcrumbs also I'm just gonna bring it all together
gonna form our burgers. Um, when you form your burger, you don't want to go super, um, super flat, nor do you want to go super fat because when you cook it, it shrinks. So if you go super fat, you're gonna have round burgers. Okay. Let me get a form here and then I'll show you guys. tattoo artist down below also just in case anybody in the Orlando area needs some work done okay guys so like I was saying you don't need to grill your burgers you can make them on a press you can make them on a pan you can make them on the grill you can make a burger wherever you like we personally like to grill so we are going to grill our burgers. We have our lettuce and our onions ready. We are also gonna toast our bread buns on the grill and add some cheese. We just like regular simple American cheese. But you can use whatever kind of cheese you like. Um, so let's do it. I'll come back and explain more when we're done grilling the burgers. Like I told you guys before, we are in love with my ketchup, so we're gonna put my ketchup on our burger. Obviously, that's a preference of ours. Of course, I gotta drizzle it on there real nice. And then we're gonna top it with our bun. And here is your pica burger. And what is a pica burger without some barbecue potato chips? They're not Jay's barbecue potato chips from Chicago, but they're the next best thing and they are delicious. Thank you guys for watching. And this one's for you, Dad. Love you. Misty Munches.